Leo! What's it be, yo? It is Scorpion Red Sarah. I am back at it again for a bonus reading for you guys for the year's end. Yes, indeed. Happy winter solstice, Leo. Okay, we are reloaded. I want to give a big shout out, a big thanks to every last one of you guys who've been booking personal private readings and been sending love through the Amazon wish list. We just got a new deck that just came in last night. Okay, so this is the Cosmic Slumber. Lord Jesus, the cosmic slumber tarot. This is, and y'all can already tell by the deck. Number one, look at how it opens, you guys. Isn't this cool? Isn't this the Z, y'all? Isn't this the Z? In the little book, I got a whole little book. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. And this deck comes with two bonus cards. It comes with two bonus cards in this deck you guys so if you guys want to check out this deck not that i'm doing a deck review in the beginning of your video but i'm just saying i just want to give thanks and love to you guys because you guys sent it to me i mean you guys are the bomb diggity so i just want to again just all of the love throughout the year that you guys have been given i just want to give a big big thanks and shout out to the creator number one for just blessing us all with the positive energy and love that has just been circulating you know through my group here, especially through the Leo squad. So I just want to say thank you again. And thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a comfort on Leo. Thank you for being a friend. Listen, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading, or if you want to send some love, if any of these videos at any time, or if you just want to send some Christmas blessings, go ahead and check out the About tab on my YouTube page. Check out the description box in this video. It gives you my pricing list, how to book with me and how to send love so i really appreciate it and then um again today we are going to be using the tarot dice which was another donated gift from the amazon wish list from you guys so again we are going to be using a lot of gifts that you guys have you know given to the group so let's get into the tea you guys i want to say a quick prayer for my Leos, and then we're gonna get right on into it. And if you got headphones on, know that I will be clicking and clacking and rolling dice around like this. So if you can't take this, like turn your volume down when I'm doing this, okay? So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. You already know what it be with us, Father God. We are reaching for greater heights than we've ever reached before. We're prepared for everything that you got in store, Father God. We are just dancing. We are celebrating. We are just like feeling very, very vibrant right now. Like we just feel very strong and like we're high vibing right now. We're on a high frequency level. Like we're constantly smiling right now. There's nothing to frown about. There's nothing to be upset about. We are just receiving so many blessings in so many ways on so many days, Father God. So we just thank you so much for just like creating the sun. It's high beaming around us. We feel warm. We feel just cool we just get every single thing that we need we thank you so much for our resources and you know the daily bread you know so and a gift of having somewhere comfortable to lay our head okay y'all listen y'all had to say that okay y'all really had to say that because i was like hold on they were like hold on it's somewhere for me to lay my head like this okay now and it's, it's about the, the comfortable environment it's the key word is comfortable environment for my Leos. Like, that is the biggest thing about what they just want to just count their blessings to just say thank you for. It's just having a comfortable environment and nourishing daily bread. So, Father God, thank you so much for just walking through our life the way that you've been doing. Please give us guidance for our Leos for the rest of December. Leading out to 2020, all the way in 2021, we'll be really bound to have some fun, Father God. So just, you know, keep us uplifted in the glory, Father God, because they don't know our story. Amen. So as you can see, we got the tea leaf cards out here. Y'all's favorite little deck, honey. Put some respect on the tea leaf goddamn cards. Then put some respect on it, okay? Listen, so we about to see what's going on with Leah. Ooh, y'all just, ooh, y'all got, look, okay, y'all just going to pop all three of them out like that, okay? We reloaded. We see you. We see you coming, baby. So y'all got the teapot. It says deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Oop. 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 
All right. It says the throne position of authority. Ooh. Mm. And then yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Okay, so true tea. It looks like you have been placed someone that's the same sex, the same sex that you are. So if you a man, it's a dude. If you're a female, it's a female. Someone has put you in like some type of a position of like authority. Um, and I want to say it has to do with your seniority in their life, how long you've been in their life or something. They may have put like a lot of responsibility on you for some reason. Um, well, well, I feel like um, they said that it's like almost to the position of like someone wanting you to be like the groom's man. And in their in their bridal and in their party or something in their wedding party or something, they want you to be like their best man or something because they need someone to be in that position because the bridal party has such a big like group of women or something. So it could be like one of your male colleagues or something like. Would you be one of my groomsmen or, or would you be my best man or something like that? But I feel like if you the best man, you would know that you the best man. But however, I feel like you kind of got yoked into the situation a little bit. Like, <laughs> you really not that person's best man. You just their friend or something. And they just trying to yoke you into the situation or not. I don't want to say best man because the best man is like a very, very high level placement and friendship but it's saying it's just a deep friendship with someone of the same sex so like this may be the tea to you like maybe you didn't know that you that this person considered you like to be their groomsman or something like that you you didn't know that you had that position in like one of your friends life or something and you may be feeling tired down and frustrated with that responsibility that you didn't know that you had you know so what is this the flute Disappointment in a friend or lover. Oh. Dog far away. A distant friend you are thinking of. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Disappointment. This is the chain. A chain of events that will affect your life. I, <laughs> the quill. Get back to basics. Okay. Again, I'm feeling like. And I'm just using this as a scenario. This is not nece um, necessarily what happened. It's just what I'm seeing or how I'm using this as a story to kind of paint a picture of what happened. So I want to say that this is a friendship or this could be a same-sex love situation, right? But I'm just going to use this as a friendship for right now. So you guys... Have been friends together for years. You know what I'm saying? Like for years, for years, for years, for years. But your buddy decides to get married, right? And say so it's like a group of friends. It could have been like maybe four or five of y'all. And y'all been hanging with each other for years. As long as you've known each other. And you've known that this always been your good friend. But you didn't think that you were like the best man. You know what I'm saying? And to be a best man in someone's... uh wedding that's a big responsibility it's like you gotta be at all these meetings you gotta go to fittings you gotta be at these dinners you got you know what i'm saying you gotta uh, plan a, a a bachelor party i mean it's like all of this pressure you know what i'm saying like feeling tied down and you just not one of them type of dudes you understand i ain't trying to be tripping like i'll go to the party i ain't trying to plan to the party and be all around all these it's just it's like a, i feel like it's a lot it's a lot like it's this position of like ranking and authority like you got to get up and give a speech and all this dumb bullshit and y'all like man bruh like i ain't trying to be how the fuck you yoke me into this shit man i'm your man like i'm your friend and shit but bruh i ain't trying to be doing all this wild ass shit man i ain't trying to do that like what you want me to go up there and say like what you want me to go up there and say man you know so it's like they're even sitting at the uh, reception party, they're not even sitting with the rest of the group, everybody out at the regular tables. They sitting at the main table at this big, like, <laughs> you know, the spotlight on them. Like, it's just someone I just don't feel like 
it's really up to being in that position and it's no disrespect to their friend but i want to say that the friend took it very harshly that you were not like committed to doing what you were supposed to do as a groomsman or as a best man in his wedding like a wedding is a very very important moment you know what i'm saying like even though like it's men and men just like ah we don't give a fuck about no nah, like some men really do like this is a moment that this man will never get back and the fact that he felt like his best friend or someone that he considered one of his best friends did not support him it could have fucked up a chain of it could have caused a chain of events that could have changed your friendship Like, seriously, you know, um, right now you, you may be trying to, like, communicate, write something, like, reach out in some type of way to, like, kind of get back the basics, to get things back to the way things used to be. Because I, I, I feel, it says it's a far away, a dog that's far away. Disappointment in a friend or a lover, a distant friend that you're thinking of. So this is someone that you ain't spoke to in a minute. Do you understand? Because... You, it's like you didn't want that position in this person's life. Like, this was a very important moment. This man was getting married, for God's sakes. This person thought that you were their dog. This person showed you the position. It may have been some tea to you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't know that you was that important that you wanted them to, that they wanted you to do all of that. But your resistance and you acting like it's not that serious. And it was, it, cha it changed y'all's relationship. That friend was very disappointed from you and you and y'all haven't been speaking to each other. And I want to say for a while now. And it's, it's about time that you reach out and you say something to kind of make good with your friend. Because it's like I, I kind of feel like I don't think that, that that person deserved that a little bit. Alright, so let's clarify. Let's clarify the, uh, the teapot, the throne, and the yoke. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords, we got the Strength in the Reverse, and we got the Two of Wands. So, and then also, let me let me say this in a lover's way. If you guys are in a same-sex relationship, um, this was a deep commitment. This is someone that you could have considered a friend of love, a friend and a lover, or a friend that became a lover. And that you've put them in this position. You gave them this throne. And all of a sudden, I feel like the, the T is that they feel tied down by the change of their position in their life. It's like we were just friends. And we started this little sexcapade thing that kind of changed the events of our life around each other. And now I feel kind of yoked up and tied into this position where I'm having to sit on this throne. And it's like it, it could be bothering me a little bit. It's, 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 it's like someone feels like it's bothering me. I'm feeling frustrated. Like this is too different than um, what I'm used to our relationship being. Um, I feel like this is someone, whoever it is in the feminine role here. It's like they're trying to find the strength. And um, they're saying the aptitude, the strength and the aptitude to like come towards you and speak to you in a way that it's not going to cause an argument that's not going to come off cold with this queen of swords in this in the reverse that is like they're really having thoughts about moving on and like like trying to get past this and, and they just think that it's something better out there like maybe this wasn't the best thing for us to do you know like you're my friend and I love you, but I don't want us to, I don't want us being sexual with each other to ruin our friendship. And I, I, I it's like, I'm kind of feeling uncomfortable in this position, but I know the person is going to take it like I'm being cold or I'm being resistant to their affection and I'm trying to cut them off. And I'm not, and I'm not, wait, what is it? Was this how it was? No, it wasn't. It was the Two of Wands. I'm about to say it was not like that. Because the Two of Wands is someone that is considering moving on and thinks that the grass is greener on the other side that's looking out the window thinking about what's across the street. 
you know, <laughs> like, I, uh, or, yeah, it's like, either that or y'all, it's either y'all are lovers, and you ain't really want to be put in that position, or this is someone that's really thinking about moving on from a friendship, a connection, because, it's something about the role and the position that they've been put in. They feel tied down and they, they, they just want to let go. They, they kind of want some freedom a little bit. Especially if y'all were some friends that became lovers. But it's like they don't know how they're going to be strong enough to tell you without causing an argument. Regretting something that, they're, that they said. Because they feel like they would hurt whoever this is by letting them know that they don't want to be in this position anymore. And they, they want to move on. They want to move past this. You know, this is not what I want. Um, again, disappointment in a friend or lover. Someone could have just walked away. And this could have been your friend and your lover. That's what I'm saying. This could have been your friend and your lover. And that chain of events, you guys stepping out of the friend zone and being intimate with each other changed our relationship for life. And now you trying to figure out how to talk to each other, how to speak to each other, how to make it feel normal, how to get things back to basics. All right, Neo. <laughs> Clarify the flute. Dog far away. The chain and the quill, please. Woo, child. <laughs> Girl, you got the Ace of Wands. You got the Devil. And then you got the Two of Cups, child. What I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all was trying to try something new. See, yeah, someone got tempted by, like, a sexual desire, a sexual urge. It's just like, let's just try this. Like, you guys could have been frustrated in y'all's just relationships. It could have been just, like, a horny night. And you guys just started looking at each other. And just something crawled up your spine. And you just gave it a little time or something like that. And then you guys started to fall in love with each other. But it was created off of love. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't created off of like a pure thing. It was just created off of an urge, off of a desire. It could have been off of pent up energy. Like you could have not had sex in a while or you could have been like there's one of you guys who could have been fantasizing and lusting after the other one like secretly. There's there could have been one that's like could have been secretly in love with the person like the whole time but didn't say something to someone so this could be a situation where it's like the the cat finally got pulled out of the bag it's like this was your friend and like say it's two girls or something and all of a sudden like you just get drunk one night and just we can just blurt out, look, I, I'm, in, I'm secretly in love with you, like, I, or, or, like, you try to make a pass or pull a move on your friend or something like that, and I'm not gonna say it didn't work, because it worked, because I definitely felt like y'all were being, it said, yeah, there was a line that was crossed here, most definitely, oh, honey, there was a line that was crossed here, and it just, and it was good, I, I want to say, like, it was good, you know, like, whatever it was, you enjoyed it, Definitely enjoyed it with that two of cups with that <laughs> the devil and the goddamn ace of one. Oh, most definitely. Y'all are y'all enjoyed the sex, but at the same time, it changed the dynamic of y'all's friendship so bad that you don't even know if you coming or going. You don't even know how to like address this friend anymore. It just feels weird. That's kind of what I'm getting. And it's like I don't even Okay, so let's just keep going. Oh, what was that? The box. You will receive a gift. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Pop off. Pop off. What is this? A dark woman. So, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. The apple. Temptation will test you. Check. Didn't I tell didn't I tell y'all? I'm trying to tell you guys. <laughs> you guys. Bit 
the apple of temptation true tea so i don't know if because i want i feel like there's someone that's watching this that feels like it's something going funny there's something funny going on with someone that they've been dating in their friend and i feel like i like this might be just letting a cat out of the box because someone feels like that there's something that's been going on with someone that they've been dealing with in their friend especially if they've been arguing a lot and if they've been it's been some weird energy going on it's because like they've been fucking i'm sorry like someone open up pandora's box someone open up pandora's box and once you open up that box have it be good or bad you know once you open up that box you can't put that stuff back in there do you understand so uh someone received a gift a gift of temptation they bit the apple and then that was it but it's saying you will receive a gift very interesting a gift of temptation okay what's this Flag, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Mm. So it's like someone is, I want to say, maybe trying to come back to make peace or something. And it's like trying to apologize and make things more simpler. And it's going to give you something that's going to kind of tempt you into accepting their plight and allowing them to kind of weasel their way back into the situation excitement firecracker Ooh, child i'm getting a tower moment and what is that a bird flying what is this news on the way someone is giving you it's like a gift that you it's something that you like it's do you see it's like to lure you do you see this apple but you see the apple but you see how the snake is like camouflaged up in there like this person is really trying to tempt you and trying to lure you to take another bite of that fruit again of the forbidden fruit of the apple it's like someone bit the apple and is addicted and i'm saying like addicted to the sex, to the desire, to the temptation. It's like they just, the wands can represent sex. The devil can represent lust, temptation, desire. It's like, you know, someone is trying to pour their energy, like all of this, like all into you. And there's someone that is resisting it. Do not be tempted by whatever this person is trying to give you. It could be something for Christmas time, just to try to make things simple, just trying to, you know, give peace and this this and that um may give you an opportunity it's saying news is on the way it's saying exciting news is on the way don't be tempted to lower your standards so it's like whatever god or whatever this person is trying to gift you god is about to give you something else that's way more exciting that's way more better so don't be tempted to lower your standards and bite this forbidden fruit again. I'm I'm serious. Because someone is really going to try to lure you in one more time. And it's like you've been trying to resist this shit. Okay. Let me. These are the new cards. So let's use the new cards, you guys. Clarification. <laughs> On this thing with Leo. <laughs> Leo, what is going on, baby, baby? Okay, baby, baby. Okay, please give me two cards. What is this? The Nine of Cups in the reverse. So, again, it says, like, no satisfaction, no victory. Um, so, there's someone that is not receiving any satisfaction and any victory they feel like the other person is completely full of their self and only thinking about their self completely self-consumed and not thinking about what's best for everyone else i want to say it's like someone trying to force you to drink or force you to um do something with them and it's you don't want to do it that's not 
what I wanted on my painted picture. That's not what the picture that I wanted on my wall. So it's like someone trying to sell you an image of yourself that they think that is best for you to receive. That's not what I want. That's not the type of picture that I asked you to paint me. Like that's not. You can't paint something that you think looks like me and tell me that you think is me. I'm 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 me. I'm telling you what I want my picture to look like. That's not what I want my picture to look like. I don't it doesn't meet my standards. I'm about to go. You can't force me, but I drew it for you. I did not ask you to, I asked you to draw my shit a specific way and you decided to do what you wanted to do and try to force give it to me. I don't want it. It does not meet my standards. I'm not gonna have any of it. I'm sorry. The fuck? Like, what you don't get about that? Like, I'm pouring out all of these cups. Like, you're not going to manipulate me into appreciating something that is not up to the standard and value that I want. No. Give me one more card, please. One more card for Leo. The hangman. So, Leo is looking at their reflection right now, and I don't even think that Leo realized that they were around the type of person that they were. It's like, I didn't even realize that you were like that. Like, who am I? Like, how have I been, like, around a person like you for so long? And I had no idea that you had these desires about me, that you had these fantasies about me. I want to say, like, you have been sitting back to yourself, like, secluded, thinking back about a lot of things that is, like, gone on in just the history of y'all's friendship and y'all's relationship. And it's, like, a lot of things is making a lot more sense to you now. And it's, and it's, it's like certain hangups and certain situations that I feel like you had trouble in where you could have been receiving some advice from this friend in this friendship or whatever it was. Like you understand why these people were coming at you like that or dealing with you like that or have views on that situation like that because this person is hung up on wanting to have some type of sick ass love affair with you and they're just supposed to be your fucking friend. And it's like... I, it's like, I didn't really see it from that angle, but now that I can finally see that shit, I don't like the reflection. You see, like, you see this reflection pool at the bottom? It's like being forced to look at something in the way that it should be looked at. Like, this person is, like, hung up on you in a way that doesn't seem normal or didn't seem normal to you. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Clarify the hangman. One card, please. Clarify the hangman. Here we go. You got the knight of swords. So, you guys are about to tell this person off. Like, you've seen what you've seen. Um, it definitely seems like you're trying to get your foot out of the door with the situation. And I don't, I don't feel like you want this friendship no more. You don't want this involvement because I want to say someone is like not trying to let go of the sexual dynamic of whatever happened. And it's like, I don't, I don't think that we should have done that in the first place. Like we were drunk or we were, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like you like that. You know, so it's like either you're going to start acting more sensible or something. Or I'm going to have to cut you the fuck off because like, I really think that you're tripping right now. And st it's like, stop trying to like tempt me with this bullshit. It's like every time I come around you, it's like you trying to get me drunk or you trying to do something. Or you trying to like offering me gifts and you doing this and you doing that it's like I already know that you still hung up on that bullshit and it's like I don't want to deal with that so either you gonna get your shit together and I'm just gonna get you the fuck out of here because like you about to get punched in your face for real for real because it's like keep if I told you no like leave me leave me alone about it like stop it's like it's I feel like you're forcing me 
to the point where I'm just really unhappy with you in this situation. And I don't want to feel like that. You know? So, clarify the Nine of Cups in the reverse, please. It's the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is like someone working real hard, um, like aggressively, like going after something, um, hitting hitting all of the targets, you know? So um, you may be aggressively like telling someone off, maybe letting someone know, like you, it may be a lot of communication. Bow, 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 bow. Like it's like you could be texting someone and they're, and the messenger is is constantly hitting like boom, 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 boom. Like you could have sent nine messages back to back. It's like this long ass paragraph about how you feel. Um, I want to say it's like you feel manipulated. Um, you're just really focused on your goals and you don't want to be in a place where there's any level of unhappiness or you or someone stealing your joy. You got a lot of certain things that you're focused on and this person can't seem to get down or, 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 or not be hung up on an old situation. Um, and you're just not offering yourself to it anymore. You're focused on your goals and this person just isn't the target. So it's like, because the eight of the eight of wands can mean like gossip, speculation, whispers. Um, also can mean like travel and things like that. Like you know. So it's like, as I'm moving forward, like I really don't want you talking to people about me, like. I don't want to hear no bullshit. I'm going to be very upset if I hear little whispers, people, little birdies coming to me, talking about they know some secret about you or something. Like, because that's really, really going to piss me off. Like, that's really, really going to piss me off. Okay? So, like, please don't do that. And, um, yeah. <laughs> cause I like hold on y'all let me look this up cause I, I just I'm like I know I know that the eight of wands means like gossip it means gossip in some type of way I know that I'm not tripping where is it eight of wands Keywords for the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands means hard work paying off, completions, conclusions, solutions, results, hitting the target, in the lead, ahead of the field, strong position, winding your sails, thinking on your feet, up and away, taking off, coming together in common, well matched, speed, action, movement, activity, haste. Hurry, rush, a race, momentum, mobilize, momentum, energy, busy, positive, active, quick action, jump in, springboard, shoot, move, go now, charge, strike while the iron is hot, um, trouble, free time, freedom, holidays, holiday romance, Cupid arrows, getting carried away, swept off your feet infatuation obsessed travel across water exciting news thumbs up fame it's the i know it gotta be the eight of wands and the reverse then that mean gossip and all that damn bullshit because i'm trying to tell you let me see i know i'm not tripping Yes, it does. In the reverse, it means drama, hysteria, unfinished business, um, incomplete, failed to deliver, lack of stamina. It says mistakes, out of control, run away, out of contact, restriction, poor timing, poison arrows, relationship upset, domestic or marital disputes, arguments, quarrels, um, blow ups, jealousy, 
a busybody, an interfering third party, a troublemaker, volatile, rivalry, clashing, bitching, rudeness, a late starter, bad news, travel fast, gossip, a lost post. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's that's I'm I'm, I'm serious. It's like this person is trying to move on. It's trying to move away. And I believe I said something about movement or travel. It's like this person is trying to hit their goals. It's like focusing on what really matters. And clearly it's like they're not backing down and not lowering their standards. Because there's some exciting news coming forward. So it's like this person is looking forward to something that's going to bring them some serious joy and happiness so it's like please don't shit on my party like you know i couldn't get through to you i've been trying to get you to receive the message that i don't think that this is good for us but like i just gotta focus on what's best for me and again like i said strike while the iron is hot it's something that's coming along here i want to say that you guys have been waiting on that it's going to put you in the perfect position that's going to bring you happiness and success. Where you're going to be able to reach your goals. And whatever's been going on with this friendship is not it. It's a distraction. So give me guidance here on the box. The dark woman and the apple of temptation. So what is this? This is... This is the eight of pentacles, right? One, two, three. Yeah, this is the eight of pentacles. So this can have something to do with work. Or something that you're creating, um, or like mass production or something. You can have a business goal um, where you are trying to find a distributor for your products or something like that. So you guys could be focused on your the quality of your work product, your day to day, your day to day action, what you're doing to achieve money. Your savings, your value, your reputation, like, that's what matters to you. So you could be getting a gift. You could be receiving a gift of a job or, um, like, a partnership in a business or something. Like, literally, if you're trying to look for a distributor for your merchandise, they're about to partner up with you. You're about to receive a gift. Like this gift of a lifetime. It's like that exciting news. It's like something that you've been waiting for. I don't feel like you have time to deal with no bullshit. This is the three of swords in the reverse. So again. You don't have time to be focused. And be intent. Like this third. This can have a. This could be someone that's in a relationship. And I want to say it's been sneaking around. And fucking their friends. You know, and like their man doesn't know it or their other girlfriend doesn't know it. It's something like that because this is the three of swords. So this is something that, again, has been keep kept secret. It's been kept hidden. It could be something very hurtful. Um, where people, it's been plaguing someone's mind about what someone is going to do because... I want to say someone has decided to walk away and not be tempted by this anymore. I want to say it's like, is this person going to tell my secrets? And whoever this is, is really thinking about their reputation because the Eight of Pentacles represents reputation. This is the sun here. This is the sun here. I can't ever figure out, like, when I'm looking at the sun with these dice, if it's in the upright or in the negative position however i'm just going to read it intuitively based off of what i'm getting here um what i'm getting here is especially with this clarifying apple is you understanding that this person represents temptation for you like you're not kids anymore you're not kids anymore. It's like you can't just be going around doing whatever you're doing and act like it doesn't have any risk or there's no consequences to it. There's consequences to what we're doing because if our friends and family finds out, it's going to be a shit show. I'm serious. Like whoever this is, like whatever this is that y'all are doing, which we all know what you guys are doing. But again, if this girl finds out or... If this girl gets a rabbit up her ass and decides because 
It's like I'm just gonna show everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm get I'm get, I'm getting that someone could get mad. Because you're not being tempted anymore by this situation. Someone doesn't want to partake in this anymore. Um, there's someone still hung up on something. And there's someone that's not. There's someone that is trying to receive other communication. Trying to focus on other goals. Other things that are more important to them. There's no happiness in this. It's like... I am kind of getting a secret. Like We can't tell everybody. Like This was just... It's something that's going to lead to trouble, not love. It was generated off of lust and a drunken night or something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's not. Because this is like someone like threatening to tell someone the truth as well. Like, I feel someone is telling someone the truth in regards to... I've been hung up on this too long. I've, I've looked at my reflection. I don't like what I see. Um, I'm just telling you how I feel. And then this could be the other person as well still hung up on whatever it is. It's just like, well, I'm just going to tell the truth. I'm just going to speak the truth and let the truth forever, like, let me free. Like, I don't give a fuck about what you got to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person could be, like, going hard, like, spitting facts. Like, you know, like a verbal verbally about to assassinate someone because you know because the sun in a reverse can mean like exposure like someone's not playing anyone a anymore someone doesn't want to be your friend because the sun to me I, I feel like it's friendships two kids outside playing in the park having fun it's not fun anymore i see you for who you are you're not my friend you're an enemy i'm exposing you like you know God, why am I getting this child cheese? Clarify the firecracker, the flag, and birds flying. And two of swords. The ten of swords. And this is like the king of swords. This is a lot of fucking swords, bruh. It's a lot of swords. So, it looks like here, the flag, don't be tempted to lower your standard. This is the king of swords right here. So, the king of swords moves off of his intuitions. Uh, very bold. As a fighter does not back down. It's going to just straight come to you with truth and facts. And if you got a problem with it, then you can get whatever smoke you're looking for. You know, I'm not going to lower my standards. I'm going to speak my truth. We were dealing with each other in a way I don't think that we should have been dealing with each other. I don't want to deal with you like that no more. And you act like you want to pop off and shit. But I'm just letting you know. I'm not going to change my stance on this. You understand? So if you want, if you want, if you want to ensue in a battle, then we can get shit popping. Like, this to me is an argument. Like, an argument. You have your point. I have my point. I'm not going to change my decision in this. You're not going to make me see things different. Period. Period. Point blank. I'm not going to change my position. I want to say, like, this could be like a exciting confrontation or something like that. It's like, I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. Bird flying away. I feel like once you speak it, you say whatever this news is and you express yourself, like that's it and that's all. There's definitely going to be someone that's going to, like it's going to be someone that's going to be sent to fly away. It's like, they feel betrayed they feel lost they feel abused they feel manipulated they feel hurt but at the same time i'm trying to tell you that we were going the wrong way it's like i want to say it's like we were going the wrong way in this situation you cannot create a harmonious loving environment off of lust and temptation any you cannot like any time that you start something where you sneaking around and you doing shit behind people's back or doing shit that 
you know you don't want to do or you that you shouldn't be doing, it's going to lead to disaster. So, I want to say it's like I, you guys are telling someone off and like seriously not backing down about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys are saving face. You're thinking about your reputation. You're thinking about your kids. You're thinking about doing whatever you want to do. Okay? Good gracious. So, you guys got the coins. It says money will be coming to you. You got the torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay? You got the funnel. Periods of frustration and lessons to be learned. And then you also got teardrops. Great personal sorrow. So, and then let me... Um, get a little bit from over here too I didn't expect for all of that to come out and then you got the hand in need of assistance and guidance and then you got the jug lighthearted carefree time so let's separate this a little bit so you got coins money will be coming to you the torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, and awareness and understanding. And then the funnel, periods of frustration, lessons to be learned. Okay. So, with that being said, it looks like there's going to be a foundation that started here. Again, there's somebody that's aggressively seeking other opportunities like you guys have been trying to focus on some goal and hit some type of target in regards to something you've been trying to open up the doors of communication and just kind of get things popping getting things moving in a positive direction in regards to finances and career clearly you see the coins are being funneled in the torch has been lit but like a a uh, period of frustration um, in regards to finances and career is going to turn around uh, once you focus on other things other than this situation right here. You start focusing on your money. Um, it's going to lessen the confusion and the frustration from what's been going down around here because you got something more important to focus on again like i said you will be um receiving a gift it's something i don't think that you would have been able to see if you were still hung up on this situation because i want to say this situation was like a whole bunch of drama a whole bunch of secretive drama i'm surprised that the moon didn't or the high priestess didn't come out but um you guys have had like a spiritual awakening and enlightenment. And like I said with that Eight of Pentacles, you guys are most definitely focused on work. You're focused on your career. You're focused on your investments and spending your time wisely. That's going to result in something that's going to <laughs> clear and open up, you know, more pockets in your bank account, you know. So let's clarify this. The coins, the torch, the funnel. You got the two of coins in the reverse. So, yes, there is some type of money frustration. You guys could definitely be looking for a job. You feel like there's a lack of balance. There could be, like, a writer's block as well. You guys could be, um, it's like you, like, I'm getting, like, it's like you need to spend more time getting your rest and kind of clearing your brain and just, like, cleansing yourself from other unnecessary energies or responsibilities that's been bogging you down that you don't need to deal with i feel like you need to sit down and like write down on a list all of your responsibilities and figure out what can you get rid of to like lighten the load a little bit so that you can have time for things that are more important to you you know because there's certain things that I feel like you really don't need to be dealing with and that other people can be dealing with other than you. Like, you don't need to take care of and try to put on everything because when you put it on and trying to do everything, like, it lessens the quality of your work. You know what I'm saying? Like, focus on one thing at a time. Give it all your effort. Put all of your your good qualities into it. And I swear, the finished product is going to be something like magic. Um, and it's going to help you figure out how to better organize these things that you were frustrated with. Once you realize there's certain things that you just don't need to be frustrated about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Focus on your energy somewhere else. It's definitely going to help you spiritually elevate. And once you remove certain things, it helps you to have more space to put more money in your pocket.
Don't let nothing frustrate you. Sometimes moments of frustration can bring in a lot of clarity. You got a teardrop here. Great personal sorrows. A hand. In the need of help or assistance or guidance. And then you got a jug. Lighthearted, carefree time. So if you guys have been dealing with a lot of stress pertaining to the situation. Uh... Because this is a whole bunch of fucking drama. And I'm so serious. Like this is a whole bunch of fucking drama. It's a whole bunch of fucking drama. And again. And if this was a friendship that was broken. And have nothing to do with no love affair type of situation like that. Like don't be tempted to lower your standard. Like you. Whoever this was. They felt like. Them running around. Chasing. After other things that were only temporary sens sensations was more important than them being a friend to you. So they could have been running around chasing after they did, doing some other bullshit that had to do with them, getting some illegal finances or something. It's like they, they could have spent their time supporting you, and they didn't. So... Don't let nobody force you or try to proposition you to engage with them when you don't want to engage with them no more. Um, I do feel like there was someone that was really hurt based off of the actions of someone that they thought that they were cool with. It doesn't mean if it doesn't matter if it was just a personal situation that one of your friends let you down and didn't be where you needed them to be and had your back, or if Y'all were friends and it turned into a love affair and then shit just went fucking haywire. And it's like y'all couldn't get back to black type of thing like that. You guys seem very hurt by the situation. You clearly seem like you were walking away and not trying to focus on that. Focus your energy on something else. There is going to be help and assistance come to you. Go and enjoy yourself. In the rest of the year, focus on... 2021, you having some real fun. Don't focus on any of this shit because you don't want to carry none of this energy with you into, two, into 2021. Take this hand from whoever it is that's going to reach out to you, try to help you understand, get the clarity and the guidance that you need, and go out and enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. All right? So, give Leo. One more last advice of clarity. The sword. So it's like you know the truth. You see what you need to see. And you don't have any problems with cutting people off and communicating to them if you need to. What your standard is. What your truth is. What your value is. And where you're trying to go. And you don't have any problem with saying no and meaning no. This is the truth. I'm going to stay balanced. And I'm just going to stay in my position. Period. So, there's someone that's going to, like, throughout this pain, whatever this is that your position is right now where you're hurting, someone is going to come and give you some clarity and some truth that's going to help you be able to sort things out. So you can stop crying. Okay, Leo? So this has been your years in reading. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Click the like button. If you're new to my page, hit the subscribe button. And, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come and check me out. Um, shout out to Sweet Addictions TV because that's where I got that from. And uh, you guys, enjoy the rest of your year. All right? And enjoy your Christmas. Peace.